and you are going to love Miles Morales. And they did that so well to the point that we were able to open the doors to movies like Ninja Turtles coming out. Or um, there was a, another one that's kind of in that same realm that I forget right now. But we're now unlocking different like animation styles for these blockbuster movies, which is amazing. And not everything looks like they're just trying to be a Disney and Pixar movie. And I think that is the future of how everything plays forward. And anime is just a part of the story as well. And what's awesome is that now that we're seeing this diversity in animation, that we have Spider-Verse, which can mash so many different animation styles together, which is a feat unto its own. I yeah. tried my hand at animation once, and I stopped and because I couldn't that. figure it out. It was, <laughs> it was awful, but I know the process. And seeing so many different styles of animation at once, it's like, oh. Mm -hmm. And then now seeing this diversity in the different styles of animation, now that we're seeing what I basically call the absurdist era mm -hmm. of animation and that people just make whatever the hell they want. It's brilliant. Mm -hmm. Now people are more accepting of anime because anime has always been a different art style from what we've seen in animation here over in the West. In the West, you have basically the Disney setup for 2D animation and it's like very fluid, very flowy. They have a very similar Disney style mm -hmm. facial structure. Anime can be whatever the hell it wants and it can look as different as it wants because it's all different studios and different artists and different people building up these stories. Like, go watch um, Full Metal Alchemist and then go watch JoJo and you will immediately notice the difference in art and characters. Like, go read the original mangas and you'll notice there's such a stark contrast and that's because you have so many different artists building and drawing these worlds. And I think that's also a different part of that anime isn't, uh, there's no solidarity in the art style. And that can tend to turn people off because they're like, I don't like this art style. Yeah. And also art styles changing in between seasons too. Oh, that happens so. more often in anime as both 2D animation and 3D animation begin to hybrid together. And we're at a point where it's like, um, it feels like One Piece is changing their animation every arc at this point. You know what I mean? But it gets better and it gets more wild and crazy every time you push forward. And that's okay. And sometimes when it's not okay is like season three of Attack on Titan and mm -hmm. like certain things like that. But it's when you try something else and I guess for an extent like Dragon Ball Super, right? Like Dragon Ball Super, people didn't like the animation style because they wanted the like Dragon Ball Z. 